Marriage is like a ring whose beginning is a glance and whose ending is eternity. You'll be reminded of this moment and the eternal love you have promised one another. The wedding ring is the outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual bond that unites two loyal hearts in endless love. So as I got to know Justin, I realized there wasn't much work to be done. The Trombinos had uh, taken care of it most of, most of it for me. So they, they handed me a young man that any father would want for his daughter. So Justin even did the old fashioned thing. He asked me if he could marry Sarah. I think he got that idea from uh, Mike Burke. who did the same thing with my other daughter, Kate. So, despite his taste in music and sports teams, he did pass the dad test, and I give you my approval, okay? Sarah. Your, your mom thought the world of Justin. Okay, we talked a lot about you and Kate, you know, and uh, she wasn't too worried about Kate, so. Figure that, you know. She was confident that this day would come for you. She even said to me, and I quote, don't let Sarah screw this up. I swear to God, she said that to me. You know, I'm glad you didn't disappoint her. So I think I can speak for everyone here, those that aren't here, Tell you both, we love you very much. We wish nothing but a, a very long, happy future together. You know, many joys, a lot of happiness together. We love you. Justin, do you take this woman whose hands you now hold, choosing her alone to be your wedded wife? Will you love her, comfort her with kindness, understanding, and respect throughout your lives? Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, is yes, or do. Uh, yes I do. Either both is good. Okay. I mean, you get the double whammy. I, I <laughs> Sarah, do you take this man whose hands you now hold, choosing him alone to be your wedded husband? Will you love him, comfort him with kindness, understanding, and respect throughout your life? May this woman grow glorious in the love of this man, and may these two rings symbolize the spirit of undying love in the hearts of both of them. And it is now my honor and privilege to pronounce you husband and wife, and you may kiss to seal your vows. <laughs> got a lot of lessons left to learn, but I'm not even close. Through my inhibition, I've become quite sure That I love you the most That this could be the easiest thing if I'd let it But I'm too afraid of losing it all Cause if I leave everything on the table Then you might But I know a love like this doesn't come around every day And I just can't bring myself to give up right now Not this way Cause I love you and I wanna hold you when we're old and gray Oh, a love like this don't come around, don't come around Every day So I put my hesitations on the show Cause this is what I choose This will be the easiest thing if I let it 
have to be honest, when Justin first asked me uh, to be his best man, I thought it was a mistake. I said, there has to be someone more suited to be the role that I am. Uh, but standing here in front of you all today, looking at my fellow groomsmen, I understand now. I get it. I get it. The first tip was don't give a long speech. No one wants to sit back and listen to a drunk guy ramble for two hours. So, like Justin, I figured I'd keep this short and sweet. Sisters, <laughs> we've obviously spent a lot of time together and have some similarities, but really we cannot be more different. While I was playing in the mud, Sarah was playing Pretty Pretty Princess with Dad. Justin, you bring out the best in Sarah, and I thank you for treating her like the pretty, pretty princess she always wanted to be. Oh, I know a love like this doesn't come around every day, and I just can't bring myself to give up right now. Not this way, cause I love